If you've spent any time on Earth, you might have noticed that humans are not the most rational of creatures. We make decisions based mostly on emotions instead of facts, and a lot of times we're guided by tribal instinct. Part of the problem is that the human brain evolved to help us survive, and not necessarily to help us be factually accurate. So we often respond better to social and tribal dynamics than to intellectual analysis. For example, if someone's tribe believes that Obama is a secret Muslim born in Kenya, that person probably thinks the hard proof of his US birth certificate is fake. That conclusion is neither rational nor accurate. But from a tribal perspective, it makes sense. It's safer to agree with your tribe and stay united ideologically, even if you're wrong about the facts, than to disagree and isolate yourself. Another part of the problem is that our brain is constantly protecting our worldview and sense of identity. So when our worldview is challenged, that same part of the brain that processes physical danger gets activated. This is why people sometimes react so aggressively to information that proves them wrong. And this is why it's often so hard to have an intelligent political debate. Several studies have also shown that there is a backfire effect that happens when people encounter facts that contradict their current beliefs. They actually become more convinced of their original ideas. So fighting ignorance with facts is like fighting a grease fire with water. It seems like it should work, but it actually just makes the whole thing worse. Lastly, there's the problem of lack of empathy. Several studies have found that when humans are divided into groups of any kind, we instinctively become less empathetic to members of other groups. That means that for survival's sake, we might instinctively empathize less with other races, other nationalities, and even other sports teams. This instinctive dehumanization of other groups is what makes things like slavery and genocide possible in our society. So, what can you do? If you want someone to consider factual information that clashes with their beliefs, First, you have to prevent their brain from seeing you as a personal threat. So, look for ways to identify the person as part of your tribe and you as part of theirs. Hey, we're part of the same family. Hey, we're both parents. Hey, we both still play Pokemon Go. Whatever. Anything that communicates that you're part of the same tribe. That's the first step. Second, consider the possibility that you may be wrong. Maybe the facts are not on your side, in which case admitting it will help you model to the other person that it's okay to be wrong. I understand that none of this is easy or smooth, but if we want to continue to function as a stable society, we have to learn to get past our own natural biases. Only when that happens, we will be able to move forward towards a better future. Peace.